Mr. Lightstone. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> it is uh, quite a relief to be able to stand up in this house and ask questions again. Um, and Mr. Speaker, uh, on this uh, momentous occasion, my first questions will be for the Premier. Uh, Mr. Speaker, earlier this month, uh, the Premier met with the Prime Minister in Ottawa. The official federal announcement from this meeting indicated that one of the topics that was discussed at the meeting was climate change. This is also an issue that was brought up at the recent Northern Premier's Forum in Whitehorse and is an issue that I've been raising since the day that I first took office as a member of the Legislative Assembly. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to ask uh, if the Premier can update the House today on any specific commitments that he received from the Prime Minister concerning the issue of climate change in the North. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honourable Premier of North, Mr. Paulusi Okaro. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We understand climate change affects every northerner and the significant impact it has. Uh, Prime Minister and I shared the deep concern in terms of the impact climate change has on our daily lives here. And we both agreed to continue to collaborate uh, in terms of providing over the coming months and the years, uh, addressing really the very important issue of climate change. Uh, climate change has been a, a key issue that we also discuss with my good friends uh, in the Northern Premier's Forum, uh, where I had the opportunity to be welcomed by our good friend, uh, Premier Silver. Um, it was uh, very evident as well in terms of how much impact climate change has on us. Uh, when we were just in, in Whitehorse, there was a slide that was there that stopped the, one of the, the main roads to the artery, uh, to the community, but also more so as well, the flood we saw in Hay River. So I think we understand the significance and the importance. Uh, we take climate change and you look right across our communities here where the ever-changing environment of our ice conditions, of the weather, has been something our elders and our harvesters have been highlighting in terms of the importance uh, we must address in terms of that. So as territorial governments will continue to do our part to mitigate and adapt to climate change, Mr. Speaker, uh, the discussions with the Prime Minister as well as my colleagues of the Northern Premiers really indicated discussions about how any new in infrastructure must be uh, uh, reliable and that it's climate resilient uh, and that any extra funding that we do require requires to be flexible and adapt to our government's needs in terms of the challenges that we face. Mr. Lightstone. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'd like to thank the Premier for those, uh, for his um, response. Uh, moving on to my next question, uh, the recent Northern Premier's Forum identified that critical minerals as a priority area for action. As the Premier is well aware, rare earth elements are essential for developing an, a decarbonized green economy as they're needed for such technologies as computers, LED displays, wind turbines and electric vehicles. Mr. Speaker, it is my understanding that a new mining project in the Northwest Territories has begun producing rare earth concentrates. In fact, this is the first uh, mining project of the such in Canada. I'd like to ask, can the Premier indicate how the federal government can better support the develop development of clean mining projects for critical minerals in Nunavut? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Premier of Nunavut, Mr. Paulusi Akaro. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we had a good discussion on this subject and how we can better support the communities and to look at mining, 
clean mining projects. And this was an issue that was reviewed uh, by the premiers of the uh, three territories. We were looking at uh, fisheries, critical minerals, and other uh, projects that can support, better support the communities and that we can be used for economic purposes. Uh, yes, this is uh, the first project, and we're looking at how we can uh, put a better economic uh, forum in Nunavut. Our office is starting discussions with the federal government, and we're quite frank about what we might be made available for all Northerners, and we do have to be included in those types of discussions when we're talking about clean mining projects. And we emphasize that we had to be involved. And again, uh, this is the first project that has been initiated in the Northwest Territories. We can't say uh, how we're going to be affected in Nunavut, but we do want to be involved uh, during the uh, discussions on this subject. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Second and final supplementary, Mr. Lightstone. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I was very pleased quite recently when the federal government signed off on an agreement or an announcement to invest $214 million to develop water infrastructure in Akaluit that will enhance our community's climate change resiliency. As the Premier is very much aware, the development of large-scale alternative energy projects in the north will also require significant federal investment that are simply beyond the government's, our government's current financial means. I'd like to ask, can the Premier describe the extent to which uh, this issue was discussed during his recent meeting with the Prime Minister? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Premier of Nunavut, Mr. Paulo Siakajo. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I would also like to thank the member. And I do agree with you wholeheartedly about alternative energy projects and in regard to that $214 million that will be used to develop water infrastructure in Ekaruit. This was initiated by the federal government and we also know that we have to look at the other communities and also look at uh, how we can make improvements when it comes to water infrastructure in the whole of Nunavut and also look at uh, climate, climate change. We would like to use less diesel as it has an impact on climate change, and we're the most affected uh, in Nunavut. This, was, this is going to be one of our ongoing priorities when we have discussions with the federal government to reduce our reliance on fossil fuel. I can't really focus on one subject, but we look at uh, everything as a whole. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.